In a restricted area of the Grand Canyon, there are pyramids and caves full of hieroglyphics and Egyptian relics. Many people do not know about them as this information has been suppressed by the federal government for about a century. The sky over this area is restricted airspace. The area surrounding this pyramid and cave on the ground is illegal and treacherous to navigate and all official reports about this from the Smithsonian and elsewhere have been censored, modified, nullified, or retracted. This still did not stop people from attempting to visit this part of the canyon. Many have been arrested and some have died attempting to climb the sacred site over the years. It has gotten to the point where the government feels it necessary to have armed FBI agents guarding the entrance to the cave that is known as Kincaid's Cave. Kincaid's Cave was named after G.E. Kincaid, who was the first to enter the cave. After retiring from the military, G.E. Kincaid worked for S.A. Jordan as an archaeologist. S.A. Jordan was sent to the Grand Canyon by the Smithsonian Institute to investigate information reported by John Wesley Powell. The tunnel is presently on a cliff wall 400 feet above the Colorado River and the Grand Canyon. Archaeologists estimate the man-made cavern is around 3,000 years old. This cavern is over 500 feet long and has several cross tunnels to a large chamber. This was the lowest level and the last Egyptian tunnel city that was built in the Grand Canyon. Since the time that it was constructed, archaeologists estimate the Colorado River has eroded 300 feet lower. There were many Egyptian relics that were discovered in Kincaid's cave, one of which was a pure gold artifact for the Egyptian king named Kayan or Kayan or Kayan. The relic is holding lotus flowers in both hands, native to Egypt. This was found in the first cross tunnel of the cave which was in the exact same location as the shrines in the valley of the king's tunnel city. Before the kings of the ancient Egypt began to build pyramids and above ground cities, it was found that Kayan was a descendant of King Zaphnath in Egypt, who may have been Joseph in the Bible. This Egyptian golden tablet was also discovered in the depths of this tunnel city, led by way of Kincaid's cave. This tablet served as a history book including the name that begins with Zaphnath coming to Aslan, and information about his descent, King Kayan coming to the Grand Canyon. These pure gold artifacts from Kincaid's cave and these Egyptian urns from Powell Cave are some of the only historical facts from the Grand Canyon on display at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. Where did the rest go? At least some of them were obviously photographed and documented, but who knows what wasn't. Wesley Powell discovered what now is called Powell's Cave. The following is a quote taken directly out of the book that Powell published. In this canyon, great numbers of man-made caves are hollowed out. I first walked down a gorge to the left of the cliff and climbed to a bench of the cliff. There was a trail on the cliff bench that was deeply worn into the rock formation. Where the trail crossed the gulches, some steps had been cut. I could see no evidence that the trail had been traveled in a long time. I returned to our camp at 3 p.m. and the men had found more Egyptian hieroglyphs on cliff walls near the cave. We explored the cave and found this shrine and other artifacts. That evening, I sent a team member to notify the Smithsonian Institute of our discoveries. We continued to survey the canyon and discovered more Egyptian tunnel cities. I estimate in my report that I think upwards of 50,000 Egyptians had inhabited the Grand Canyon at one time. The shrine that Powell's team found in Powell's cave was dedicated to Setifrin. Setifrin's rule began in 1336 BC but only lasted 10 years before he died. The hieroglyphics Powell's team found, this is a diagram for the Egyptian writing system when the ancient Egyptians came to the Grand Canyon. It was a school tablet used for teaching Egyptian children to read and write. 
There were even crypts discovered. One of the crypts was opened in the Grand Canyon to see if there were any mummies in them before they were sent to the Smithsonian Storage Building. Also discovered this rock cut vault with statues. Did you know that all the monuments in the Grand Canyon are named after Egyptian pharaohs? This famous canyon in Arizona is actually an ancient array of pyramids. The site even aligns with the same stars that the pyramids of Gaza align with, the constellations of Orion and Pleiades. So you tell me, do the artifacts and writings found in the Grand Canyon appear to be created by Native Americans who were mostly Israelites? or by ancient Egyptians? The answer is pretty clear. Mizraim, now called Egypt, was in America. Dodge the hijack. All praises to the Most High, Hawaii.